So I have the idea of getting 20 millionaires in a room and showing them how to make $10 million. The feeling I hate most about building a company is loneliness. The feeling of being overwhelmed and not having people who get it. It being the insatiable drive to be number one, but seemingly having no one that understands. And I figured it'd be fun to get 20 millionaires in a room to see what magic we could cook up together. To gain clarity, jam on strategy, to have fun and maybe, just maybe, help each and every one of them unlock the battle plan to $10 million a year through organic content. But is this even possible? I know there are a lot of weirdos and scam artists out there that promise this sort of stuff, and I didn't want to be that guy, that guy that over-promises and under-delivers. So I got to work. I thought it'd be a walk in the park. I've helped hundreds of founders through Founder OS implement proven systems to scale their businesses to $5 million profit per year. This couldn't be so hard, right? Boy, was I ever wrong. Okay, so it's 24 hours before the official event. I'm nervous, I'm excited. I'm praying this is everything and more I've dreamed of. I really, really want all the founders to walk away from the event with a life-changing experience. This ain't no fire festival. I built this mastermind with three people in mind. Scott, the creator. Scott sold Classy to GoFundMe for 1 billion. Now he's using the same playbook to get CEOs from 1 million to exit. My goal is to help people like Scott set up a content machine to drive endless leads. Mark the coach. Mark was the first CFO of Shopify. It's now a $50 billion company. Mark is looking to scale his coaching business from 1 million to 5 million a year. My goal is to help people like Mark scale their audience on social from nothing to 100K plus and give them a clear battle plan to 3X the clients to his coaching business. And then Sean, the founder. Sean has been in a 500 founder for three years in a row and did over $200 million of revenue in the last three years. He's now looking to grow his newsletter and media company to $10 million in the next two years. My goal is to accelerate that growth so we can hit it in the next 12 months, leveraging the systems I've built, growing Herb to 14 million people in millions of emails. So there are three very real outcomes from this mastermind event. A, all of these founders get the battle plan to 10 million and are thrilled that they came and hopefully they tell all their friends about this experience. B, a couple of them enjoy it and the rest regret it. Or C, all walk away just pissed off. And there is no D. It's either a massive W or else. Now, most masterminds are old school. I wanted to create something that's a little more new school. Modern growth strategies and secrets that are not shared online and cutting edge tactics for scaling your online business fast. Helping founders dial in their moat, monetization, offer, audience, and team. A lot of masterminds boast a vast network. I wanted to create a very narrow network of legends that are growing massive online businesses and audiences. See, my belief is that there are two key trends defining the future of entrepreneurship. One, brands are founder-led, and founders need to leverage their personal brand and storytelling to develop deep and meaningful relationships with their customers. People remember Steve Jobs, and then they fall in love with Apple. People are inspired by Elon, and then they fall in love with Tesla. People admire Richard Branson, and then they fall in love with Virgin. People follow people, and then brands. Two, every brand is a media company, and the best founders of tomorrow will build a fan base through organic content today. But most founders find themselves on a content hamster wheel. So it's more important than ever Ever, that founders build a content system and engine to drive growth of their audience and brand. The Founder West Mastermind is focused on helping 20 millionaires get the eight-figure founder battle plan. Most founders are struggling with slow audience growth, unclear vision, uncertain monetization, a hiring bottleneck, they're on some content hamster wheel. They're solopreneurs that are struggling. They have no funnel tracking and they're on the founder roller coaster. My goal is to give these founders a major transformation, get them to 20% monthly audience growth, help them build a clear legacy and a crystal clear North Star, give them the eight figure battle plan, help them get a sticky product, a founder flywheel, become a talent magnet and build a legendary network, all while having the most fun they've ever had. Well, don't just take it from me. Take it from them and what they said they're looking for out of this mastermind. Better has been really cool. It was a great opportunity to meet a bunch of people that are also in the community. This weekend was definitely worth tens of thousands of dollars. If you're that person who really feels like they have a lot to say, but you, you haven't really systemized or automated your way of doing that, Founder OS can really unlock a way for you to actually achieve that kind of distribution or that audience. My experience at Founder OS has exceeded my expectations. Everything I learned by far the, the best thing was, was the people. Matt's assembled a really great group of humans. They're all 
all ambitious. They've all achieved a lot already, but they're still hungry, looking to achieve more. And those are my kind of people. On day one, my brain went all over the place. I got exhausted because so much thinking, so much learning and interacting with really cool people. So that was amazing. It, it really felt like we had a whole breaking down like six months of experimenting and talking to customers in like, in like three days. Known Matt for almost a year. And this mastermind has been uh, mind blowing. It's like drinking water from a fire hose. And I can't wait to go back to the day to day and start implementing every single thing that we've learned. So I can't show you everything that went down at the mastermind because after all, it is a super secretive event. And most of what is shared there is confidential and it can't be found anywhere online. But in the interest of giving you a taste of what we covered, here are five core insights that can help anyone scale their business from $1 million a year to $10 million a year. So grab a pen and paper because you won't find this anywhere else. Number one is create a founder flywheel. The founder flywheel is the self-propelling system I developed to 10X the results of my efforts and rapidly grow my brands. Here's what my founder flywheel looks like. I've used my founder flywheel to drive over 730K of monthly revenue to my portfolio of internet businesses. And here's how it works. My personal brand is fueled by content across Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, and YouTube. All of that top of funnel traffic is then driven to my newsletter where people get proven systems to grow their online business in just three minutes a week. Once they're in my newsletter, my owned audience then is driven to my different businesses like Herb and Founder OS. Now, I'm not doing this to be salesy. I'm not here to be pushy. I'm here to give genuine value and help people. If they want more access to me and more hands-on help, they get more involved with what we're doing over here at Herb and at Founder OS. Most of the revenue growth I achieve is then driven by word of mouth. People telling their friends about what we're doing over here and how it's helped them. 80% of the business from Herb and Founder OS comes from referrals and the average person going through Founder OS gets a 20X ROI from their investment. So this drives a massive referral flood, an endless amount of people that are looking to come to these businesses without me having to spend a dime on ads. This is the Founder Flywheel and it's the highest leverage mechanism that any founder can build in their business. And it starts with you putting yourself out there. The more content you create with your name and your face behind it, the more trust you build with your dream customer over time. But it's not just your dream customer, it also increases your service area for luck, community, connections, cash flow, investors, and talent. This leads me to the second secret. The best CEOs are talent magnets. If you wanna go fast, go alone. If you wanna go far, go together. Bill Campbell, affectionately known as the coach in Silicon Valley, was a revered mentor and executive coach, some of the most successful CEOs and entrepreneurs of the late 20th and early 21st century. He held executive roles at Apple and Claris and served as a CEO of software company Intuit from 1994 to 2000. However, Campbell's real influence came from his informal unpaid role as a coach to the executives of tech giants like Google, Apple, and Amazon. His coaching has had such a profound impact that Eric Schmidt, former CEO of Google, refers to him as the trillion dollar coach in reference to the collective market value of the companies he has advised. Here were some of his clients, Steve Jobs at Apple. Campbell had a close relationship with Steve Jobs, helping him transition back into his role at Apple after his departure from the company in the late 1980s. Campbell assisted guiding Apple to become one of the world's most valuable companies. Eric Schmidt, Jonathan Rosen, and Larry Page at Google. Campbell's relationship with Google began when he was brought on to mentor then CEO Eric Schmidt. He was pivotal in fostering Google's unique culture and managing delicate CEO transition from Eric Schmidt to co-founder Larry Page. Campbell was heavily involved in strategic decisions and became a vital part of Google's leadership team. Jeff Bezos at Amazon. While not as publicly discussed, Campbell also reportedly served as coach to Amazon's Jeff Bezos, another industry titan. Bill Campbell's coaching philosophy centered around trust, empathy, and fostering strong cohesive teams. He was known for his uncanny ability to understand people and navigate complex interpersonal dynamics, fostering unity and instilling a collective sense of purpose within the companies he guided. As Eric Schmidt says, Bill looked for four characteristics in people. The person has to be smart, not necessarily academically, but more from the standpoint of being able to get up to speed quickly in different areas and then make connections. Bill called this the ability to make far analogies. The person has to work hard and has to have high integrity. Finally, the person should have that hard to define characteristic, grit. 
the ability to get knocked down and have the passion, the perseverance to get up and go at it again. When building your company, prioritize weapons. Weapons are people that are smart, work hard, have integrity and grit. These weapons will unlock your potential to achieve time, location and financial freedom and automate your business. So what does your core team of weapons need to look like as you scale? Well, each company is different, but here's my core team at Founder OS. I have Brennan helping me with newsletter, funnels, copywriting and growth. Michael, helping me build the courses, the workshops, and the website. Victoria is our creative director. Juliana is my EA. Jordan Brown is a closer. Jordan as a digital media manager. Saren Tatiana on video. Georgie on finance. Zass as a thumbnail designer. Kat as a designer. Rachel Jepson as a book editor. With this stable of weapons, I'm able to scale at 20% month over month in both a content machine that drives endless leads. Number three is create a $10 million content engine. If you build it, they will come. Might be a great strategy for a baseball stadium, but it's terrible advice for anyone trying to build an audience. To get attention, you need to be in front of your ideal audience and regularly. I recommend picking two social media platforms to begin with and committing to publishing twice a day. Focus on content that inspires, that educates, that entertains, it makes people think and triggers some sort of emotion. How did I build a content engine? Well, it comes down to my content waterfall system. I leverage threads, tweets, and call to actions to drive a referral flood. It looks like this. One Twitter thread becomes a book chapter, a short form video, a LinkedIn carousel, and a YouTube long form video script inspiration, as well as an animated video script for Instagram and a lead made it for my newsletter, a newsletter topic, and then a workshop a few months after being posted. Then one tweet becomes a short form video, a YouTube community post, an Instagram reel, an animated video script inspiration, and an illustration I have my team design in Figma. In order to drive all of this attention from this content to revenue, I leverage call to actions like lead magnets, free email courses, and applications. Now, it's good to have audience growth systems, content systems, and monetization systems, but the biggest tool in your arsenal isn't you, it's your network. Number four, your network is your net worth. Proximity is power. If you wanna to grow to $10 million revenue a year, you need to surround yourself with people that have done it before. The quickest way to get where you're trying to go in life is to surround yourself with people who have been where you're already trying to go and then learning from their playbook. If you are serious about scaling your business, you need to have a clear North Star. My vision is to help 100 million founders automate their business and get to $5 million profit a year. My goals over the next 10 years are to serve 10 million founders with Founder OS, build a community of 10 million people, a newsletter of 10 million, and a tool to help founders that is 10 million users. My three-year goals are to grow my audience to 20 million, grow this mastermind to a thousand elite founders, and own retreat centers in places like Bali and Hawaii. In order to achieve my big vision, I need to grow my audience to 5 million by the end of this year, grow my newsletter to 1 million, and get 100,000 pre-sales for my book that's coming out soon. So what's your 10-year vision? What are your three-year goals? What is your one-year goal? And what do you need to do in the next 90 days to be successful? When you get clarity on your goals, you enter the magic zone. You're designing a business and a life that gives you a feeling of pure joy, freedom, and purpose. You're able to achieve the freedom to work anywhere, anytime, on anything with anyone. You can choose to work on your mission and vision or step away for months knowing that your empire is going to run on autopilot and you have a clear path to 10x the company and you have time, location, and financial freedom and a global team of creative weapons to collaborate with and build a vibrant future. You have ultimate creative freedom to travel, to raise a family, and focus on deepening your relationship with friends, the planet, and your spiritual side. Every year, I do multiple mini retirements. I walk away for one month to experience epic experiences and the business is stronger when I return. You deserve the life and business you dream. So what are you waiting for? Accountability turns vision into a reality. Take action today. Apply the three levers to your business. Create your founder flywheel. Assemble your team of creative weapons. Create your $10 million content engine. Join a mastermind and write down your $10 million vision. Was I able to get these 20 millionaires to $10 million? Well, don't ask me, ask them. I believe my ROI in this program is gonna be 10X plus. I feel like I'm leaving with tens and thousands of dollars of value just from a few days, and I'm really grateful for the experience. I think the biggest thing that I've learned from this mastermind, and also just from Matt in general, are tactical takeaways. The Founder OS mastermind is really, really good for entrepreneurs that maybe are transitioning or just had an exit and are looking to develop that personal brand. Even entrepreneurs that are still in the thick of it that want the personal brand to reinforce their company and grow their company while they're doing it. All right, well, I guess we pulled it off. 
that was so much work, but also definitely the most rewarding experience of my life. And I can't wait to do it again next year. So I hope to see you there. We're going to go bigger. We're going to go better. We're going to go to the moon on this. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love this video, which is my story going from 15K in debt to over $8 million a year. All right, let's get it.